hello guys welcome back in the previous class we have seen how we can do some mathematical operations on numerical data so in this class we are going to learn how we can take input from the user that means when you run the program it will ask the user to enter the values okay so let's simplify this program i'm not going to calculate all these things so for the simplicity we will just uh, calculate uh, addition and subtraction let's say okay a plus b and even we want to calculate subtraction as well and let's take one more multiplication okay so which is a into b okay but we don't want these values in the program itself but when i run the program i want to take the value from the user and then print it okay so for that we need to use a function called input in python just like print there is a function called input it will wait for the user to enter the value and one more thing one more input i will do it here okay so now when we run this program it will wait okay so let me do one thing i am commenting out these two lines and let me run this program see if you see here it is waiting here the crusher is waiting there okay that means it is waiting for the user to enter some values let me enter 344 and then next value b i will enter 16 See a plus b, it is giving us three forty four plus sixteen. So that is because the input, whatever the user enters the value, it will consider that as a textual data. So that's the reason three forty four plus sixteen as coming as three four four one six. So then, what is the solution for it? So we need to convert the given textual data into an integer. How can we do that? It's pretty simple. We can do a is equal to int of a okay that means a in the line number 1 we have in the textual format now we are converting that into a numerical value similarly for b also you need to do something like this okay so now whatever the values that user enters that will be converted into a numerical value okay so let's run this program again so again it is waiting here the crusher is waiting here okay so let's enter 12 and this time 13 so 12 plus 13 the answer will be 25 okay guys so i hope you understand that but there is one problem user is not i mean it is little confusing whether it is waiting or not okay so just to avoid that in this input we can give some message to the user let's say something like this enter a is equal to okay similarly enter b is equal to now if you run this program on the prompt it will show these messages see a is equal to i will give 10 and the 40 so we'll get 50 as a an answer here now let's say something like you want to show the output as 40 i mean 10 plus 40 is equal to 50 instead of just directly showing 50 you want to show that complete format how can we do that it is very simple in python let's do this so you have a comma and in the single quotes or the double quotes okay you give the plus symbol because that is what we are doing and again we want this one and then finally this okay so now let's save this program and see the output so it is asking for enter the a value let me give 78 and b value maybe like 54 now 74 plus is equal to 132 
so it is not printing the 54 here the reason is we did not show the value here okay so let me give b and comma that okay now we will be able to get the proper answer this time i will give 90 and this is 110 got it so 90 plus 110 is equal to 200 so this is how we can uh, use input function to take the input from the user okay so let's open up this also and one more thing if you might have noticed when we use this hash symbol before any line that line will not be executed in python so that means when a user start any line in program with this hash symbol so python program will consider that that is not for executing that line okay it is called a comment okay so if you have any questions about this please mention in the comment section so similarly let me modify this as well a comma so even we can use single quotes also b comma okay so similarly we can do for other things as well a comma this is a multiplication you can give this symbol okay so finally our program is ready let me save this one and run this guy so now let me give 5 as a a value b value may be 8 see so we get proper calculator program here so if you want to implement the other two operations like a power b or a by b or anything else you can go ahead and do it okay so we have a problem here let me correct that as well so that is because we put the b in the single quotes so that is printing as it is okay guys that's it for this class okay in the next class we'll discuss about strings in python till then take care bye bye